Master, to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father, and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus' divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here of, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Thursday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Punsalan SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, I'd like that today we focus on the first reading because it gives us a lot of instructions about life. The first reading from the book of Ecclesiastes says, Vanity of vanities, everything is vanity, Everything passes away except God. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Kohelet. Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which he toils under the sun? One generation passes and another comes, but the world forever stays. The sun rises and the sun goes down. Then it presses on to the place where it rises, blowing now toward the south, then toward the north. The wind turns again and again, resuming its round. All rivers go to the sea, yet never does the sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labored. There is nothing one can say. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. What has been, that will be. What has been done, that will be done. Nothing is new under the sun. Even the thing of which we say, See, this is new. Already existed in the ages that preceded us. There is no remembrance of the men of old, nor of those to come will there be any remembrance among those who come after them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterdays, now that is past, or as a wash of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep, the next morning, they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, by, but by the evening wills and pains. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. He wrote the Tetrarch, heard about all that was happening. He was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets, has arisen. 
But Herod said, John I beheaded, who then is this about whom I hear such things? And Herod kept trying to see John the Baptist. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Vanity of vanities. Vanity of vanities. Everything in this world is vanity. Nothing is new under the sun. Kohelet says, My dear brothers and sisters, there comes a point in each of our lives when we stop and we reflect about the meaning of life. We reflect about where we have been, what we have done, how far we have come. We see the timeline of events that have shaped our lives and we assess how they have impacted who we are today. The book of Ecclesiastes in the Old Testament is the epitome or embodiment. It is the personification of life, reflection as testified by King Solomon who wrote it most likely in his advanced age. Metaphorically, the book of Ecclesiastes reads like a photo album. It is like a scrapbook of memories that have shaped Solomon's perspective of life over time. What makes Ecclesiastes intriguing is it captures man's infatuation with chasing after fulfillment in a myriad of forms, fulfillment in a myriad of fashions, family life, career, profession, business, wealth, treasures, which includes about everything except God. And in our life, we always ask the question, where does real happiness really lie? King Solomon applied himself to exhaust his pursuit of happiness through wisdom, through self-indulgence, through success, through wealth and honor. He pursued the treasures of this world to the extent that he achieved all of them only to come to the same conclusion each time that life is void of meaning, that life has no purpose except with, with God. Vanity of vanities, everything is vanity. Opportunities are endless to whet our appetites into thinking that our wants are actually our needs and that is precisely what Satan wants to tempt us with in order to draw us away from God. Ecclesiastes, my dear brothers and sisters, carries the theme of vanity throughout its 12 chapters. The vanity of Solomon speaks of sentiment of shallowness a sentiment of emptiness and without meaning. In other words, we desire only to fill our cravings with the objects of our desires, but we realize quickly that the end result leaves us is still empty, is still void, is still lonely. We are not happy after all. And Solomon begins, Ecclesiastes with a proclamation of vanity and determines that life simply comes and simply goes without the slightest change to time and creation. 
generations come and go the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening the wind blows where it wills waters rise and fall all these events exist independent of man because they are ordained by God therefore it matters not whether a man painstakingly toils under the sun because one day someday he will die my dear brothers and sisters Solomon was blessed by God with the gift of wisdom and prospered more than any man in history but in his arrogance he felt that he was still empty Solomon had more he had more wealth more intellect more power more everything than any man alive yet it did not satisfy the spiritual hole in his heart he lived the prodigal life he started well he finished well but he was seriously lost somewhere in the middle ecclesiastes is a warning to those of us who think life is about our joy about our comfort about our happiness and about our contentment my dear brothers and sisters as solomon discovered the mirage of contentment our world tempts us with they will all fade and pass away but the word of the Lord endures forever. Again, vanity of vanities. Everything in this life is vanity. Everything passes away except God. When the responsorial psalm was being read a little earlier, there are a few lines that caught my attention and I'd like that we end our little reflection with this beautiful prayer from the responsorial psalm. It says, and I quote, Lord, teach us to number our days aright that we may gain wisdom of heart. We are aware that there is so much evil in the world because Jesus has overcome evil by his death and resurrection. Let us ask God that goodness may be victorious. The response will be, let your light shine on us, Lord. Let your light shine on us, O Lord. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your light shine on us, Lord. That the nation may give up the sunless race to have more powerful weapons of war, and that they instead learn to live together in harmony and peace. We pray. Let your light shine on us, Lord. That those who are persecuted because of their beliefs may succeed in winning their freedom. We pray. Let your light shine on us, Lord. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. We pray. Let your light shine on us, Lord. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. We pray. Let your, Let your light, light shine, shine on, on us, us, Lord. Let us pray for our beloved brother, Johann Isaiah Meren, who is celebrating his birthday, that the Lord may bless him with all the best in life. Let us pray. Let your, Let your light, light shine, shine on us, Lord. 
Let us also pray for the gift of healing and peace upon Rochelle Tarayao, Rolando de Jesus Jr., Yolanda Lara, Priscilla Perfecto, Gabriel de la Cruz, Alan and Jesusa Albuyalde and family, and Marvin Mamuyak. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your light shine, shine on, on us, us Lord. Lord. God, our Father, keep healing all of us and let your goodness shine in us by the power of Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through the heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Oh 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins and do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Darlene Madlambayan, Santos Chu C., Christian Peralta, Richard Langlois, Rex Garcia, Abeth Hamiral, Purin Picardal Madeja, Eduardo Mislang, Sachi Gentiles, Vilma Piachon, Rex de la Cruz, and Nestor Rebong Sr., whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray the loveliest prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day our, our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, as we, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days in your mercy. Give us free from sin, protect us from all anxiety and fear, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. With each other with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Vanity of vanities, Kohelet says, everything is vanity, everything passes away except God. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus who will endure forever. The Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world, happy are those invited to His meal. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 
that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael the Archangel. San Roque. San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calungsod. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Freinademitz. Be seated for a few, few moments. <clears throat> like to greet on behalf of Christ the King Mission Seminary, we would like to greet everybody a pleasant morning, a pleasant good morning, especially those who are attending our Holy Eucharist here at Christ the King online. In particular, allow me to please uh, read some names. It's a little long because I was, we were out of town last Tuesday and so I was not able to read some of them. So I'd like to read them today. Thank you very much to the following individuals, persons who, who contributed something for our seminarians here at Christ the King. I'll be quick. Evangeline Lasala, Reni Gahol, Nelia Cueto, Arlene Angeles, Luz Viminda Panganiban, Attorney Marinette Gravador, K. and Chad Blasco, Julius Bayani, Loida Manas, Ruby Santos, Fred and Cora Divera, Antonio and Emilia Silva and family, Arnel Madeline and Beatrice Arn, Acorda Emerita Lapasaran Suarez. We also thank Maristela Fandino, Rizel Salveron, Fe Noceda Panganiban, Esther Tanco, Jocelyn Buendia, Maria Teresa Baltasar, Vida de Jesus, Luz Biminda Panganiban, as well as the following who sent something for our seminarians. Anastasia Carluen, Serena Santos, Josefina Angat, Michelle Apostol, Ronaldo Mateo, Maria Teresa Kerry, Arli Baliklik, Mark Reddy Makasait, Maria Elisa Pelayo, Arnel Bacilar, Maria Omega Gonzalez, Luz Mangahis, Ivan Janel Chua, Angelica, Angelica Fernandez, Vanessa Guerra, Emelinda Lamanya, Zara Larano, Rosa May Matilia, K. Eustachio, Corazon Cortez, Elma Castillo, Oliver Angel Garcia, Milagros Barro, LV Orbeso, happy birthday in advance, LV. Pareho pala tayo ng birthday. Jennifer, Jennifer Palaganas, Corazon Padua, Janet Di Guzman, Anita Gorgolio, Gorgonio, and Eliza Antonio. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so very much for sending your valuable assistance for our seminarians. I'd like to continue 
making the appeal on behalf of our seminarian here at Christ the King. Kami po ay nananawagan, humihingi ng tulong para sa ating mga seminarista dito sa Christ the King sa kanilang pag-aaral. And uh, I'd like to, we, we are showing the, the bank details to which you can send your donation. It's on your screen now. Uh, our bank account with the semin for the seminarians is Banco de Oro. Banco de Oro. And the account name is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. The account number is 000 Probably it would be better if you take a screenshot, a picture, a photo with your cell phone or with anything and uh, copy to copy the bank account details. 000 220 And we are also keeping two GCash numbers. One is under my name, Father Punsalan, and the other is under the name of Father Tagura, our rector. The, name, the numbers are 0967-318-9830, 0967-318-9830, and 0945-743-0935. 0945-743-0935 And in case you want to send me an email And uh, as a matter of fact, I still have to respond to some emails that I received recently The email address is also posted on the screen in front of you ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com Again, ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com Thank you so very much for sharing in our mission of forming future Divine Word missionaries. We always include you in our Mass intentions. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with yours. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.